So now we try to dissect the brain together with the ventral nerve cord. In this case, we again first remove the two wings and the six legs. And now we gently make a small nick between the, the six legs and peel the two halves of the, the metal thorax apart. And we expose the region just below the body surface. And we remove the root of the legs and then we go up the the side of the thorax. And we remove all the, the cuticulum. And now we can see a small white object which lies the ventral most area of the thoracic segment. So this is the ventral nerve cord. This object. And now uh, we remove all the other parts of the thoracic segment without damaging this ventral nerve cord. The neck part which connects the brain and the ventral nerve cord is very thin. So be extremely careful not to damage this part. So now we removed most of the thoracic part and we also removed the, the cuticle of the anterior most thoracic segment. And now we exposed the ventral nerve cord. In the ventral nerve cord, there are six small protrusions, which goes towards six legs. They are the, the leg neuropiles. You can see three pairs of neuropiles, uh, of the posterior, medial, and anterior segments. And we also see a very small protrusion towards the posterior, this one. This is the abdominal segment. The segments for the eight abdominal segments are much smaller than the three thoracic segments. And now we are going to dissect the head part. You can Dissect either from the mouth part or from the, the hind brain part. It's up to you. This time we are going to, to dissect from the mouth. And we remove the, the ventral half of the head capsule and we cut the region between the two eyes. And then we go towards the posterior to remove the cuticle the rear end of the head capsule. Again, be careful not to damage the optic lobe. The red part is the remnants of the, the compound eye, and since these guys flawless, since uh, they have fluorescence, it's important to remove all the remnants of the, the compound eyes. Here we have the remnants of the eye on the, the right side of the brain. And we also have some debris of the, the neck part, the cuticle around the neck. We also remove these guys. Be careful not to damage the brain proper. Actually, for just for dissection for the antibody staining, you don't have to remove all these remnants before fixation. 
it's better to, to put the specimen into fixative as soon as possible. So usually you can keep these debris and you can remove them just before the before for mounting. And here you can see the ventral nerve cord and the neck part and the brain proper. And on the right side we have the the compound eye and the lamina. Now we are removing the remnant of the compound eye. So now we remove the retina, but we still have the lamina on the right side. On the left side, we lost the lamina. So we only have the medulla lesion. Like this. So now we have the lamina on the, the right side, but we don't have the lamina on the left side as you can see here. The white part on the posterior brain are the two air sacs. So this is the whole nervous system of the Rosophila minorogaster.